Hey, Math 31, I had a question coming out of section 4.2, number 53, and here we were being asked to choose between two different types of cell phone plans and figuring out, okay, once we get the, the models for those, those linear models, I should say, for those cell phone plans, um, how many minutes would you have to use in a month in order for the second plan to be preferable? But let, let's break down the plan. So the first plan, it says here, it charges a rate of... 26 cents per minute. And I want to point out some words, rate, right? You hear that word rate and that we've talked about rates of change. And I've said that rates of change, right? That's basically a buzzword for slope. And you see me writing 26 cents per minute. You can almost hear it as a slope, right? 26 cents per one minute. Right, so for every one extra minute you talk on the phone, your your phone rate is going to go up by twenty six cents. Now that that just has a slope. There's nothing more to it than that because they're just saying, "Hey, we're charging you twenty six cents per minute." Where the second plan, it's got this flat rate of, and let me color code this. It's got a flat rate of nineteen ninety five, and then it's going to charge you eleven cents per minute. Right, and again, you can hear that as a slope. It's eleven cents for every one minute, but there is a fixed cost on this plan because they're gonna charge you $19.95 regardless of if you talk or not. And that right there is your Y-intercept, right? That is your fixed cost. Your Y-intercept is if you talk for zero minutes, they're gonna charge you $19.95. So in order for the second plan to be preferable, we have to see how many minutes we would um, need to make that model cheaper. So I want to see when is the first model greater than the second model. And, and the reason I'm doing a greater than in that direction is because if the second model is on this side of things, right, this is the cheaper side of things and that's what we want. So I go ahead and I have a linear inequality there and we talked about how to solve linear inequalities back in chapter two. So I'm going to subtract, even though I don't have space for it here, I'm going to subtract 0.11x from each side, right? And then I get 0.15x over here and 1995 here. I'm going to divide both sides by 0.15. And because I'm dividing by a positive number, I don't need to change the direction of the inequality. And I get x has to be greater than 133. So I'm going to choose the second plan if I'm talking more than 133 minutes in a month. All right. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye.